So why am I running you through these seven points? Well, when we look at all of them, only a few of them really add value. Only a few of them really require your brain and your thinking. There is identification, where you absolutely need it because you are the one who can ask the right question. You are the one that can say, this is the type of elements we're going to need to solve that problem. Organization is also absolutely critical. Yes, information technology can help you put data together, but it's really up to the business people who say, that's how we look at the business, that's how data should be structured. Then obviously analysis is the big one. Yeah, we need all your time there, but not necessarily all of it because there is ex execution coming down the road. And this is actually where analysts can really bloom in their career because this is where they take the time to place phone calls, to exchange emails and actually get the job done. I usually get challenged by my students about reporting. I myself had a title with reporting in it. Does it really add value? Well, once you figure out which media is best for which people so that information doesn't get lost, then reporting is just a paper delivery. We're just paper boys, so why should we spend that much time? It's a low adding value task. So what we're left with, talking about where we don't need humans, it's collection, storage, and reporting. And that's where you can see that efficiency can be driven. Because for all these, element compo these components where humans are not needed, this is where you can put machines. This is where you can put automations, such as ETL, such as databases, such as automated reporting tools. This is where you're going to save so much time on your everyday life to be able to focus on the other elements that actually bring value. And that's the essence of any data projects. You want to make sure that your best brains, your best employees are on the task that matters. And for all the rest, just let the machine work. We're about to finish our journey around these seven points on how to better manage your data. The seven points is actually much higher level, but so close to my heart, because it's actually your heart, your passion, that's going to be a key element of any endeavor in the field of data. And why that? Why isn't that you know, a dry technical field like everybody believes it is? Well, it's because it brings together so many competencies, so many diverse teams, that it just can't be a, a rough, cold-blooded exercise. But let's not forget about a few things. Data, data management, data analytics always starts with a common ground. A lot of data cleansing, a lot of data governance, a lot of data harnessing, so that what is bring to us is actually in a good shape for analysis. Yeah, we all have these very low tasks that need to happen. And if we want to be in charge, if we want to be in control of the data we work with, well, we need to be there cleansing and organizing that phase. But on the other side, and that's where the heart matters a lot, is yes, we need to be smart about our data, but we also need to be emotionally conscious of the role this data will play. Emotionally conscious that people are going to be impacted by this evolution in a good way knowing that behind this data there are people which privacy, which security has to be preserved. And besides the IQ and the EQ, there's also the CQ. The more we handle data, the more we're in touch with technology people, engineers, data scientists, internal customers, external customers, the more we connect with operational teams and finance teams, because we all here as a company, as an organization to solve problem. And this collaborative caution is actually critical. And this is, these are the reasons why I chose to engage and take that data path. It's because when you run data project, when you play with data, you have the luxury to be an architect of processes and systems and data models. You got to be a conductor of technical people, business savvy people, scientists, vendors. But also at the end of the day, when you see the tremendous productivity gain, the tremendous gains of insight that you help all these people deliver, you also feel a little bit like a magician. And that makes your day.